In this video, I'm going to be showing you why you don't need shiny huges in Pet Simulator 99. But real quick, if you want to win a free huge pet, like and subscribe, and leave a positive comment down below with your username. Here's the winner from the last video, so congrats on your new huge. Anyway, back to the video. So you might have heard that shiny huges do the most damage out of all the huge variants, and while that's true, they're very difficult to get compared to normal huges as they're so rare and expensive. And with so many players still without their first huge pet, this brings the question, are they even worth it? Well, I tested them out, so you don't have to and the answer is pretty surprising let's head over to the last area so i can show you all right so i'm gonna be equipping a normal huge pet and for this test it's gonna be a happy rock that's level 91 so let's go ahead and see how much damage it does all right so for these breakables it's doing 5.2 million damage and for the crates, it's doing around 4.8 million. So first, we'll compare the damage the huges do between the crates. Oh, and actually, let me get rid of all of these enchants so we can make this fair. Although none of them really increase my damage. But anyway, let's go ahead and try out a golden huge. I'll be using this happy computer. All right, so let's go over here. And let's see how much damage it does once it breaks one of these crates. There we go. So it looks like it does exactly the same amount of damage as a regular huge. And this even works for a shiny huge pet. As you can see, this happy computer is doing exactly the same amount of damage as both the normal normal and golden huges. But just to confirm, let's test out a rainbow huge. So we've got our mosaic griffin here, and it should do around 4.9 million damage to these crates. And yep, I was right. So clearly from this testing, there's a damage cap for breakables. After a certain amount of damage, better pets aren't even worth it. So it really doesn't matter what type of huge pet you have, at least for these crates that is, which are the majority of the breakables that you'll be breaking while in the last area, or even lower tier breakables like coins. But remember that this damage cap doesn't apply for the chest raid. Obviously, it's going to be better if you have higher tier huges or titanics, so you can do more damage and get through the rooms faster. But if you're just farming, it doesn't really matter. Like, let me equip my lowest level huge so I can show you. It's a level 61 huge gecko. So let's see how much damage it does. Almost 4.2 million damage. So that's slightly less than the 4.9 million damage we were doing. But with time, it'll level up to reach the damage cap of the breakable. However, now that I mentioned that, let's actually figure out the level a regular huge needs to be to reach the damage cap for crates. Alright, so it looks like at around level 80 to 85, a regular huge does enough damage to break these crates in 3 hits because it reaches its damage cap. But to confirm this applies for all breakables, let's go ahead and test our damage on large safes, which are the hardest to break in area 124. Alright, let's see how much it does. Okay, that did 4.9 million damage. Now let's equip our shiny huge and let's see how much this one does. Whoa, so around 50% more? All right, so I think I just figured this out. Basically, each breakable has its own health bar and the damage your pet can do is capped at three hits across all breakables in the game. So for the last area, my best pet isn't actually affected by the damage cap. I've got this rainbow stealth bobcat, level 94, and if we try to break this safe, I'm actually unable to break it in three hits. So that means I could still definitely improve on my team because look, it's only doing 8 million damage here so it doesn't reach the damage cap but look if we go to these safes over here it's a different story since they have less health I actually managed to break them in three hits so all breakables must be broken in a minimum of three hits even if you have the best pet in the game wait but that's not entirely true upon further testing if you use enchants and other boosts including flags you can actually bypass the damage cap if your pets are good enough like right here i broke the coin in two hits but going back to why you don't need shiny huges, is it really worth buying them to do slightly more damage to better breakables when you can just use boosts? Well, that's ultimately up to you. I mean, you really need a full team of them to actually see a big difference, but I know most of us aren't rich like that, so that's why I try my best to help you guys out. Anyways, I hope this testing helped you out in deciding whether shiny huges are right for you, because for me personally, I think I'll just stick with getting good deals, although you might be focused on something else. But hey, we all have our own goals and that's great. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, more videos coming very soon, and I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.